On 12th June 2018, Uganda joined the rest of the world to commemorate World Day Against Child Labor under the theme Generation Safe and Healthy and Child Labor. The commemoration of the World Day Against Child Labor is an opportunity to raise awareness about the child labor problem, to get stock on the progress of the interventions, existing opportunities and challenges that need to be overcome to stop child labor. Preparatory meetings for the World Day Against Child Labor were organized by the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development in partnership with international labor organization Somero Uganda, Uganda Women's Effort to Save Orphans, USO, Platform for Labor Action, PLA, Rural Development Media Communications, RUDMEC, Alliance One, Federation of Uganda Employers, FUE, the National Organization of Trade Unions, NOTU, and other child-focused non-governmental organizations. Activities to celebrate this day started with a press conference on the 8th of June, hosted by the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development and their respective stakeholders. The press conference, attended by over 40 media agencies, was addressed by the Director of Social Protection from the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development. Child labor refers to work that is mentally, physically, socially and all morally dangerous and harmful to children. Work that, for instance, interferes with the children's school attendance. Work that is as others. Uh, which by nature and circumstances under which it is performed jeopardizes the health, safety and morals of children. As part of a, a joint global campaign throughout the year 2018, the World Day Against Child Labor will focus on the need to end child labor and to improve the safety and health of young workers. According to the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda 1995 as amended, anyone below the age of 18 is considered a child. At the same time, the minimum age of employment has been declared as 14 years in this country. The elimination of child labor is of course a fundamental principle and right which all ILO member states have agreed to respect. To date, 177 governments have ratified the ILO Convention 182 and this is on the worst forms of child labor and 165 member states have ratified Convention 138, which is on the minimum age of work. The good news is that Uganda has ratified both of these conventions as stated. While this is commendable, it is not adequate to fight the scourge of child labor. The function started with a march procession that was flagged off by the State Minister for Gender and Culture, Peace Mutuzo. We are here to celebrate the World Day Against Child Labor. And as government, we are providing an environment that is safe enough for you to grow in a healthy situation and environment so that when you are mature enough, you can offer the labor to develop the country. So we wouldn't like to see children working for a pay when they are still infants because their bodies and minds have not grown enough for them to take decisions or even to work a whole day. And therefore, today is a campaign. And as we campaign, we shall begin with the march. And for that matter, I want to take the walk with you. Um. <laughs> School children, Gulu local government officials, representatives of the ILO, workers, employers, private sector agencies, and child-focused non-governmental organizations participated in the march procession.
The national celebrations were held at Kaunda Grounds in Gulu District on the 12th June. Organizations and schools entertain the guests with songs and poems. <laughs> Children of Kazo Church of Uganda entertained guests with a poem on child labor. Child labor, child labor, you are caused by many things. Death of parents, lack of best needs, ignorance to some parents. Oh, child labor, child labor, child labor. The government should enforce law against you, child labor. People should be educated about the dangers of child labor. Oh, child labor. We shall not rest until we spare you child labor. Abako Primary School entertained guests with a song in a choli about child labor. <laughs> Anthony Triahewa, a workers' representative under the National Organization of Trade Unions, said that millions of children are in child labor instead of being in schools. He said that child labor violates human rights, but also child labor denies a person decent work. He urged government to address these deficits by strengthening enforcement mechanisms so that children are protected. To address these issues, these deficits, by strengthening the enforcement mechanisms so that children are protected from a representative from the Federation of Uganda Employers said that they are implementing a project titled Employers Initiative in eliminating hazardous child labor in tobacco growing and this project is in Omoro and Gulu district. Through this project, 400 tobacco lead farmers were identified. The lead farmers will, among others, perform a critical role of preventing occurrence of child labor in tobacco growing areas. We have conducted workshops for tobacco farmers and stakeholders to enhance their capacity to participate in social dialogue on eliminating child labor in tobacco growing. We have trained 33 employers, workers and CDOs, tobacco leaf inspectors and agricultural extension workers in child labor monitoring and reporting using appropriate channels, both for Gulu District and Omoro District. The ILO National Program Officer on the Elimination of Child Labor, Jackie Banya, commended government for putting in place necessary policies and laws to ensure that child labor is eliminated. She, however, appeals to those in charge to ensure that these laws are implemented. I bring you greetings from the director of the ILO country office and he's commending the government of Uganda for all the tremendous effort made to put in place the necessary policies and laws to ensure that child labor is ended. But it's not enough to put policies and laws. The policies and laws need to be implemented. Enforcement 
there's still a big issue. It all starts with me and you. We have to look deep down in our households, in our neighborhoods. The message is, let's surely preserve a generation that is safe and healthy. The future human resource of this nation depends on the generation. If you play with the children, you're playing with the moral fabric of our society. And that means there's no tomorrow. We have invited the leaders, the respons uh, responsibility bearers, to take together a message with us so that we trickle it down to everybody that cares to think for children and think about the plight to make it better. And only requires a small thing, counseling, guidance, take off time to talk to the parents. Those of us who go to the media, please utilize that opportune time to save a soul that you even don't know. Guide the parents, guide guardians, encourage people, even those that do not have children of their own, to take up a responsibility to take care of a child that was born and denied the parents to take care of him or her. The minister appealed to parents to take care of their children by encouraging them to go to school and join government skilling programs. We are now embarking on skilling Uganda. And our approach will be to look for the youth and also provide alternatives, skilling. We are strengthening family ties. That's why we have a family protection unit in police. But we also have a department of family in the gender. Probation office is also for strengthening families. The Operation Wealth Creation intends to support families to be able to generate incomes. Please take advantage of it. The free health facilities in a place were a strong target at every sub-county to ensure that we have facilities in health that can be able to support the children. That's why the theme is drawn from a generation that is healthy enough to provide labor in future for this country's continuity as Africa, as Uganda, but also a transforming one, and one that is able to meet the needs of the future generations to come.